What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside my man, Gary here with Adaptogen Science. Where can they follow you on the social medias? Instagram, GP underscore flex. There you go. So check it out, man. This one comes from Lori. My granddaughter likes to share my pro granddaughter. She's drinking. She's a grandma drinking protein. That's what's up. That's a gilf. <laughs> likes to share my protein shake with me, and she is 18 months, specifically the Caramel Sutra. Is it dangerous for her to drink this? She's a perfectly healthy child. Just checking become because she really loves it, as I as do I. Um, I'll take this for example. Um, one of the plants that makes um, MTS, which obviously you guys have tasted away in, you know, you gotta look for where it's made. If it's an NSF facility and it's a quality brand, one you can trust. One of our facilities actually does, part of their division makes the baby food for, oh, nice. um, for I believe, Nestle. So I mean, that's one thing, okay? So a lot of these plants are using whey protein. A lot of these formulas do use whey protein in them. So it's already in there. Um, I don't see a problem with it, and it doesn't sound like she's drinking a gallon a day of it. However, I will say that my, uh, my three-year-old son, Preston, has been having about two scoops of whey every day since he was about one years old. Wow. I mean, as soon as he got off the bottle, he could maybe make him a little sludge with it, and eats it with a spoon, that's his jam. Perfectly healthy, perfectly fine, other than the, you know, the third year, um, he's good to go. Yeah. Um, well, what's your opinion? I mean, you don't, you know, I have a lot of kids. Um, some of them I pay child support on, some of them I don't. I have no kids, and I don't own a manufacturing company, but I think uh, a little bit of protein is a lot safer than a, you know, a piece of chocolate cake after school. or. What's really another, funny, though, 18 months, I know a lot of people with year-and-a-half-year-old kids who go to McDonald's, and they don't question for a second that chicken nuggets exactly, is going down their exactly, throat, you know, but yet they're going. worried about a protein powder that's derived from milk. Uh, the only argument you can make would be, you know, people get stressed out of aspartame. There's no aspartame in here. And there are naturally flavored whey protein shakes right. where they have stevia. Sure, the kid might not like it because it tastes pretty bad to flavor with stevia usually. But, I mean, not to kids like you. I mean, a meathead can suck yeah, down course, anything. Of course. Homo. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's one of those things where you, um, it's really not bad. And it's a milk product and you're good to go. I don't see anything wrong with it. However... For liability reasons, before you do this, be sure to consult with that child's pediatrician to find out if it's okay with her or him. Good job, Mark. All right, so be sure to follow Adaptogen. Your lawyers will be healthy. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes they yeah. We keep getting sued. So check it out. So here's Tasty Way. If a kid's going to drink a protein, Tasty Way is delicious. Trust me, it's called Tasty, tasty Way. for a reason. I mean, they get sued for friggin' lying. For what? What is that? Like, what? Just, just being FTC would get you if you call it Tasty Way. It tasted bad, you know? Yeah. All right, guys, be Label sure to follow control. them. Follow man Gary over here. Follow Adaptogen, and that's not a game.